All right, guys, this is a uh, video of my 99 GMC Sierra budget turbo build. Wanted to make a quick video of just kind of basic rundown of what I got going on with it, and what all was involved with it. Kind of give you guys a little background of it. Like I said, it's a 99 uh, GMC Sierra. I've had it for about a year maybe a little longer um it's got a four six drop on it um when i bought this truck i had the intentions of just making it a bolt-on truck you know heads a cam you know headers stuff like that uh but things changed as you can see um truck's under boost now we'll get into that here in a minute but anyways like i said it's a 99 four six drop um when I decided to turbo this truck, I um, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. I'm here in Ohio, you know, I'm really close to On3 Performance's, uh, you know, where, where they make the turbo kits. I um, was going to go with an On3 kit because they're real cheap and affordable as well. Very nice kits, but, uh, you know, I work a regular blue collar job. So as you can see, I ain't got a big garage to work in, a little one car garage. This truck was built right here in my driveway where this truck was built on a low 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 budget I, when i say low budget boy i mean low budget so like i said this truck was built on a super super low budget um and like i said i was going to buy an on three kit just couldn't come up with the three thousand dollars right up front you know to buy everything so i decided to build my own started doing a little research online and uh found a hot side kit anyways let's pop the hood man i want to bore you guys um anyways in here real quick got an innovative uh scg1 boost controller slash wideband very very nice very slick very very nice works very good definitely recommend going with an innovate uh all right let's see here we got the hood pop never mind the wood grain on the dash man i didn't put all that on there that is a sticker it's ugly it, it will be coming off of here eventually but anyways let's get under the hood guys have 5.3 liter all stock except for the uh, turbo of course uh does have pack 1218 springs in it um got a gt45 turbo that cost me 200 on ebay turbo blanket 20 dollars on ebay let's see here we got the tile blow off valve we have the ebay wastegate speed daddy Let's get a little better look at that. Dumped off. Let's see here. We have, there's the end of, there's a look at the wide band sensor tucked away in the firewall back there. Let's see here. Let's get a look at this intercooler. We got the 31 inch intercooler on here. That was off of eBay. Everything on this truck was off of eBay. That was a hundred dollars for that. Coupler kit and the piping kit. That was another hundred dollars. Like I said, I got this truck under boost for under $1,500. Sorry about the shaky video, guys. It's cold as balls here in Ohio. But anyways, here's a uh, look at the passenger, the driver's side, uh, hot side. There's the header. It's basically a, a full length header. Um, and over here on the passenger side, it's more like a log style header. Can't really get a good view of it. I'm sorry about that. Let's see here, maybe we can look through the wheel well and kind of show you guys. Anyways, there's the flange. Just better look at the wastegate. Let's see here. I will have to put a different set of plug wires on this. Probably use a set off of a uh, 4.3 liter with the uh, angled boots because these here, they uh, you got to fold these up out of the way. The log's kind of in the way here, but so I'm very happy with that. The hot side kit cost me $280, and I cannot complain about that. You are not going to find a hot side kit cheaper than that, and that, that come with both headers and the crossover pipe. Like I said, you are not going to find it no cheaper, and that was by this company right here, XS Power. They have uh, another website called Stainless Steel Autochrome. Actually, right here. It's right on the sticker. Um, $280, like I said, that was shipped to my door. Hot side kit. 
see here. Uh, the fuel system we got, we got a 340 LPH in tank fuel pump um, with decapped 80 pound injectors. Bought brand new decapped injectors. I didn't buy no used or use my used injectors. I used brand new ones, got them decapped, flowed. Um, let's see here. What else do we got? Truck still has 4L60 in it. That will be getting a 4L80. I used the uh, stock overflow tank, just moved it. It was setting right here. Had to move it, of course, with the location of the turbo. Uh, real quick, show you guys how I ran my, my uh, cold side piping. Eventually, I'd like to get those couplers, you know, get that welded in, you know, that way I don't have to put those bins there, you know, put the, you know, make that a, a solid bend. We don't have to use a uh, 90 coupler there. Eventually, we'll, we'll take that taken care of. But said, and here's the, uh, here's more of the way I routed my cold side. I'd like to get this welded here, take that to work one day and weld that solid way and get rid of that coupler. Uh, I did have a coupler here. As you can see, I welded this to, well, I didn't weld it. I took it to work and had a guy weld it for me at work. Let me correct that. Um, like I said, you can see where it's coupled down there. Um, truck's done clean. I mean, it's not slopped together by any means. Might be a cheap budget build, but it's definitely not sloppy. I, uh, you know, it's definitely clean. I need to get a get a bezel for my fender exit. You know, when I when I cut this, it was a misjudged a little bit. But we can clean that up and put a put a bezel on that, and you'll never see that. That was that was me getting excited and getting in a hurry. I normally don't do things like that, but I did. Um, yeah, truck does run. Um, it's running really, really rich right now. Um, just got a base tune on it, but like I said, um, running really, really rich. Um, it does have a factory fuel pressure regulator on it right now, and what's happening is my fuel pump's overpowering my regulator at the rail. Instead of having 58 PSI, I got like 90 almost. So we gotta get that taken care of um, before I can really drive this thing and do any more. Um, truck was tuned by Brian Turner at Diodo Tune Motorsports here in Galloway, Ohio. Um, the dude is amazing. If you need anything tuned or you're close to Ohio or you know uh, looking for a good tuner, I definitely recommend you check him out. Like I said, his name is Brian Turner. Dino Tune Motorsports is uh, his business. And like I said, he's here in Galloway. Dude is a beast, absolute beast, man. He got me right. So like I said, what else is there, man? I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, guys. I'll make separate videos of you know some things if you guys have any questions but uh you know here's my uh here's my oil feed that's that's uh i'm using an ict billet oil feed can't see it it's down there underneath the header but uh ebay uh, oil feed line got the 10 a.m oil return that's an ebay kit as well i did buy an ict billet return bung and i got it welded into the uh the timing cover can't really get, get down in there to look at that. But as you can see, there it is, kind of a, somewhat of a better angle. I removed the AC on this truck to uh, give me a little more clearance for my return line. Probably end up rerouting that return line. I'm not real happy. It, it's running downhill and it's been fine so far, but I'd like to reroute it and kind of put it coming through here and maybe run it through the water pump somewhere, make it look a little cleaner. So we'll, we'll clean it up. Got a long way to go, but we're we're getting there. At least the truck runs, and I honestly didn't plan on being this far at this time. I didn't think I would even have it under boost at this time, but looky here. Like I said, if I can put this thing under boost with my budget, anybody can put this under put something like this under boost. I'm telling you, it can be done. Where there's a will, there is a way. I promise you that. I said you just gotta just gotta do your homework, do your research. Watch videos from guys like, you know, Hunter Tuned and Sloppy and all them guys. I mean, them guys is a major, major help. Low Buck LS, he was a major help. All them guys was, man, you guys' videos was great. You guys have no idea who I am, but you guys definitely helped me out. Um, truck is tuned in speed density. Um, we are, it is, uh, we, we did away with the mass airflow sensor, but what I did was I cut the end of it off Here's the harness for the old mass airflow sensor. 
I had to use the intake air temperature sensor. It's built in with the mass airflow sensors on these trucks. There's got five wires and you got to take the two wires off the, uh, off of the uh, pigtail for the uh, mass airflow sensor and wire your, uh, your intake air temperature sensor in there. I used one off of a, uh, I believe it was a blazer or a GMC Jimmy, a GMC cyclone, something like that. Typhoon 20 bucks, Amazon or eBay. 20 bucks took it to work had to order a bung got the bung welded in everything's been good got it tucked up out of the way right now you know i want to clean it up a little bit more like to get different overflow jug eventually catch can simple 20 dollars. i hate it it's ugly i don't like it it's 20 dollars though we'll eventually change that but said i got it simple right now Got the PCV vented with just a little filter on it. We'll be changing that up sooner or later. It's not right now. Um, we'll be changing that though. Truck has NGK TR6 plugs. Let's see here, what else do we got going on here, man? Like I said, the catch can, that's gonna be going away. We're gonna be getting a better, better design, better look. Just don't like it, it's just cheap looking. I know the whole goal of this was to say cheap, but some things I just I want to look nice and that just don't look nice. So um said I uh painted the grill. Grill was chrome, headlights were ugly, took those to work. I'm a painter, so painted the grill black, tinted the headlights. Truck definitely needs painted. It's got some rocker rust. I got rockers for it and put rockers in it, but that's the least of my worries right now. I want to get the truck under boost and get this thing on the road and play, play around with it it's winter time here in ohio right now it's cold so can't really do much i got a one car garage as you see the truck's not in the garage <laughs> but uh yeah this is what i work with man got a driveway and uh some jack stands and a floor jack man and a and a uh and wheel and, and willpower so that's it man this is my build super cheap ain't gonna get no cheaper than this man i got uh paid uh what i give twenty six hundred dollars for the truck about a year ago maybe a year and a half ago and uh got about fifteen hundred dollars in turbo in it so far about fifteen hundred bucks and everything that's 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 with my controller turbo everything and uh it's pretty cheap I mean, I, I thought I thought so anyway. So you guys got any questions, feel free to message me and want to know any more about the build and want help with your build. Any advice, do's or don'ts, be more than happy to share my, my wrongs and my rights with you. I definitely did a lot wrong and definitely did a lot right. So, but uh, like I said, here's my build. Just wanted to share it with you. Sorry, it's a mess right now. Got all this junk in the bed. Got to get some stuff cleaned up. Just been cold and been busy with work. And like I said, here it is. If you guys like it, I'll get some more videos up of it or running. Maybe some videos of driving it here soon, hopefully. Like I said, here it is. My 99 GMC Sierra budget build. Super cheap, dirt cheap. Broken boosted. That's it. So, like I said, one more look at the mess in the interior. It's a work in progress, but I'll get around to it. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Have any questions, any comments, whatever, feel free to comment. You guys have a uh, good Thanksgiving and uh, be safe. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.